If 3x squared plus 5x plus xy equals five, and y of five equals negative 19, we're asked to find y prime of five using implicit differentiation. To perform implicit differentiation, we differentiate both sides of the given equation with respect to x. This gives us the derivative with respect to x of three x squared plus five x plus x y equals on the right side, the derivative with respect to x of five. Going back to the left, the derivative of three x squared with respect to x is equal to six x plus the derivative of five x with respect to x is five. We need to be careful when differentiating x, y with respect to x. We treat this as a product of two functions and therefore we need to apply the product rule. Where the first function is x and the second function is y, which we assume is some function of x. Applying the product rule of differentiation, we have the first function x times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of y with respect to x, which is dy dx, or if we want y prime, plus the second function of y times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of x, which is equal to one, equals on the right side, the derivative of five with respect to x is zero. And now we need to solve the equation for dy dx. So we'll go ahead and subtract six x on both sides, subtract five on both sides, and subtract y on both sides. Simplifying. We now have x times dy dx equals on the right, let's write the right as negative six x minus y minus five. And now for the last step to solve for dy dx, we divide both sides by x. Simplifying, we have dy dx equals the quantity negative six x minus y minus five, all divided by x. And now we can find y prime of five, but notice y prime of five is the same as dy dx at x equals five, but notice we evaluate dy dx, we need both an x and a y value, which is why they told us y of five equals negative 19. So we can say that y prime of five is really equal to dy dx evaluated at the point five comma negative 19. So we substitute five for x and negative 19 for y, which gives us negative six times five minus negative 19 minus five, all divided by five. Simplifying in the numerator, we have negative 30 plus 19, which is negative 11, minus five, which is negative 16, giving us negative 16 fifths. I hope you found this helpful.